hi guys welcome to this video today i'll be showing how you can set up whatsapp bot without meta verification in a very easy manner normally we have businesses which we would like to use whatsapp to connect with our clients but we have to wait for days and days for meta to verify our business but here we can do without long verification steps we can do it almost instantly here so let's get started with it to use this bot they provide us a docker image that we can host so i'll be using DigitalOcean for this DigitalOcean gives us an app platform where we can host the vahas docker image so you'll be getting a link in the description using which you can sign up and you would get 200 dollars free then you can set up your bot using that 200 dollars for free initially first time when you come here it might ask you for, for your credit card but don't worry first 200 dollars should be free of charge so let's go to the app platform uh, once you're on the app platform make sure you choose docker hub itself don't choose something else choose docker hub next we need to copy the the name of the docker image so that will be dev like pro slash waha make sure you copy it exactly and paste it here Waha also has a plus version that we can use in our bot. But the only difference between plus and the normal version is that the plus version allows you to send images in WhatsApp. So the image name will change in that case, but this tutorial will be sticking with the free version itself. If you do not know about uh, Docker tags, please stick to latest. Unless you have some technical knowledge on this, you can like use your own image tag from by getting it from the Docker Hub otherwise just stick to the latest itself credentials we don't need it for the free version if you're using the paid version you might need to enter the values there so once you're on the screen we can see a set of default values given we don't need to use the 24 dollar plan we can stick to the 10 dollar plan should be good enough for about thousand users next we would have to also set the environment variables and make sure you set the app level environment and not the above one set the app level environment variables these environment variables are really important for the security of the bot since you do not want anyone else to access your whatsapp so make sure you go to the security let's go to the security document documentation so whatsapp api key let's copy that name the cnv is really important since this is how we can authenticate our api request to the bot now for this tutorial i'll just add it as admin here make sure you give a proper secure password next you also set set env values for swagger so we have to set swagger username and a swagger password so let's set the username i'll keep it as admin for now next will be the swagger password set it as admin next would be the dashboard username and dashboard password let's see it should be right about yeah it's here copy that yeah for demonstration purposes i'm just keeping everything as admin but make sure you guys do add good strong values here yeah so you have to set these five values next for choosing a region make sure you chose something like which is close to you also i'll add the name here as avaha server you can name it anything you like this should take about a minute or two to run let's wait for it to get completed yeah so as you can see this is completed now let's view the app in the use live app link yeah this is the swagger dashboard which shows different endpoints we can use basically i'll not be going through all of them in detail i'll make a separate video if you guys need an update on this for today we'll directly go to the dashboard so you can click slash dashboard this is the basically server interface that we get where we can connect our whatsapp from here 
we'll be able to link our whatsapp here we need to enter the api key that we set as env so i had set it as admin so i have entered admin there save it next what we could do is we can click start new we can add a custom name here and do create and start i already have a default uh, name so i'll just start it so we can see that it's starting right now this should take about two minutes to get the whole ui started so if we click the screenshot option this is one of the options we can use to log in so this is same as how we log in using whatsapp web we can basically scan the qr code or we can use the login button i think yeah the login button that's given in the side it also shows us the qr code that we can scan or we can go enter code enter our phone number once we enter our phone number we'll receive a code which you can enter in our whatsapp app on our mobile phones so right now i'll be sticking to the qr code method so i'll just scan this using my mobile phone so let me scan it once you guys get this qr code or uh, scan it using your mobile phones to link your whatsapp as well i'm done with my scanning so let let us give it a few minutes to sync so we can see that it's loading our chats depending on how many chats we have this might take some time so let's wait for it to get completed yeah <clears throat> as we can see now it's completed the status should change any minute now yeah so now we can see that it's in its working status and it is showing what's my number what's my name on whatsapp as well this is connected now we can go to the send request option so there's an api to send a text here so we can see the chat id as 1111 at c.us so that 1111 is basically the phone number you want to send with the country code so make sure you add the country code as well and remove the plus symbol if it's present now if you click send uh, we get a response that our message is successfully sent now if we uh, refresh our screenshot we can see that yeah this hi they have been sent to the number 11111 so this is basically how this works now i'll show you a use case where you can use this so for that let's go to make.com yeah so once we get on make.com please do register here sign up once you register you have like thousand operations a month for free if you need more than that you can surely take the paid plan but yeah we get thousand operations free a month as you can see here next we have two options we can click on the scenario in the on the left side or we can click on the create new scenario in the top right corner so let's click that now here we have multiple triggers that we can use we can go with google sheet integration if we want there are a lot of things that are available here for this tutorial i will stick with the google forms so let's search for google forms in this yeah so that's google forms let's open it let's go for watch responses so basically this trigger gets activated whenever a form gets submitted so here you'll get a sign in option with a google account so i've already linked my google account but you can come here and link your account next let's go and create a google form so let's go to google forms <coughs> our form is open so i have already created a waha form so i'll just open that form yeah so there's the form i've created so we can see it has three fields it has name contact detail and how can i help you so let's copy the id from the url let's copy the form id let's go to make.com let's paste it here and let's click search documentary you can give anything i'll just give as waha form now that we click ok we can see that it has found our form next we can go to the limit in the limit this decides based on how many responses it needs to process at one time right now it's two so google google form trigger in make.com is time based trigger so it runs every 15 minutes or the interval we specify so how many responses you should take in that interval for now i have set it as 100 a time interval from now or from any date you like so i'll just click it from now every 15 minutes you can run it Next, let's create a HTTP request. 
HTTP POST request basically make a request and the URL so we need this we get this URL from our dashboard so if you go there and copy it let's come back here and paste it next we would also need the sub path so let's go to our dashboard let's copy the path from here come back and let's paste it remove the extra column yeah next the method would be post method here next we need to set the headers because we have an api key that's for security so that nobody can access it so let's go to the security page let's find the header that we need to set it should be something like yeah x api key let's copy that header name let's go back to make.com paste it here <laughs> our value we had passed was admin so let's add that next we need to go we need to scroll down we need to go to body type we can add it as raw content type will be json next we need the request content let's go back to our dashboard for that let's go to the request let's copy the body let's go back to make.com and let's paste it next let's change the text there so we'll add the fields that we had first field would be the name And then you can go to the answers grade and we could go to feedback i think text answers text answers value yeah next let's enter the let's enter slash n for the new line make sure you enter slash n for new line and not and not press enter because that will give you a json decode error while sending the request uh, let's enter number here next let's go to contact number create feedback text answers answers value next again a new line with slash n next let's enter help needed next let's go to help needed create feedback text answers answers okay i think i chose answer let's just fix that let's remove that okay yeah next let's go to answers value so this thing is done and let's save it you can leave the rest of the things as it is because a session name is also default as we can see in the dashboard if you had entered a different session name here then make sure you add that exact session name there but since we have added default we we'll just keep it as it is next we can run this workflow and if you keep it like every 15 minutes it will run without you knowing so now let's fill this form let's copy the url paste it yeah let's fill the form put your name you put a dummy number here then what help i need let's just add some value here testing the uh, uh, bot okay and let's open whatsapp for side by side comparison basically so let's minimize this let's reduce the size of this and keep it on the side why is what's wrong with this thing okay yeah now it's working let's keep it here now let's submit the form those are the test values that are submitted now let's go to the integration and let's trigger the bot now it's reading the form and got an input and it sent an http request let's go to whatsapp oh okay we have received the message but there is no values let's let's check what's wrong let's check if we receive the values through the form go to answers question and text answers we can see that we have received the value uh, let's see our request the request body let's see here let's go everything looks good to me strange let's see me oh okay our text answers field has appeared this was not there when we tried it the first time now it has appeared yeah we can replace it with that so make sure you guys also change this after your first response i guess make.com there's a glitch in make.com with this so yeah let's add that now let's add that for contact number as well text answers answers value next let's do the same thing for help needed as well go to help great text answers answers 
let's save it and let's retry these things let's now go to the form let's re yeah let's fill a name <coughs> a dummy number how may i help you let's add a message here testing the bot with let's remove this let's testing a bot second try and let's submit this yeah now let's go to make.com let's uh, rerun this thing it's running it's and let's see you know what's yeah now we can see that we have received the message the phone number the name and the message so we can see this how we can use war to basically automate our businesses this is just one of the use cases that i have shown there can be multiple use cases that you can do you can even build a chatbots with this so let me know in the comment section what you would like I'd like to give you a free, I could give you a free way to do things as well. So there are many different methods here as well. We, how I can make a video on how to utilize each of them. So let me know what you guys are actually interested in. Yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. So let, so if you guys have liked this or learned something on this video, please do subscribe, leave a like and please do comment in the section as well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.